You've probably heard countless times that Tom Brady is the greatest Super Bowl champion in history and holds numerous records in the NFL. But today we're gonna tell you about his life outside the field that made him a sports hero. We'll show how the greatest legend in American football dealt with rejection when he was told he was too weak to become a professional athlete, the GOAT, Tom Brady. Thomas Edward Brady Jr., known worldwide as Tom Brady, is an American football player almost unanimously recognized as the greatest of all time. He was born on August 3, 1977 in the city of San Mateo, California, a Leo who likes the spotlight and to be adored, but he's very well resolved and has a unique mindset. He's the youngest child and the only boy among three sisters who were college athletes. In high school, Tom was an excellent baseball player. At the time, his coaches saw him as one of the best catchers of all time. This career was interrupted by a new passion, American football. Such love came from moments shared with his father, specifically when they watched games together. In his childhood, Tom Brady practiced basketball, baseball, and American football. Inspired by his idol Joe Montana, Brady attended some football camps, where he began to learn the functions of a quarterback. Upon entering university, Brady was the seventh backup quarterback and barely got to participate in games. The decisive point between baseball and football was his recruitment to Michigan State when he decided that his life goal would be the NFL, and he would constantly fight to gain recognition for his work, a fact that marks his life up until his retirement in 2023. He joined the team claiming to be the best quarterback, even though he knew he wasn't. However, his determination was so great that he even told the coach, I'm not going anywhere and I'm gonna prove you that I'm the best quarterback. Despite his determination, it was only in his third year of college that he succeeded and had a victorious season with the team. However, to win the starting quarterback spot in his senior year, he would have to beat Drew Hansen. Drew was a famous college player who played two sports, baseball and football, besides having stronger arms and a better game reading. Tough competition. But there's a saying that we should always be prepared for when opportunity arises, and that's exactly what happened to our hero. In a game where Michigan was losing 17-0, Brady entered the field, completed 241 yards, and almost turned the game around. After this demonstration of his ability, there was no longer any debate about the spot, including for Coach Carr. Taking over as the starter, Tom Brady broke the university's record for pass attempts and completed passes. The Wolverines won 20 of the 25 games in which Tom Brady was the starter. Still, in 1998, Brady crowned the season with the title of the Citrus Bowl, the most famous college championship. After these brilliant seasons in college football, it was expected that Tom would be quickly chosen in the 2000 draft. But that didn't happen for our hero. Unfortunately, his physical and medical evaluations were lacking. He was too weak, too skinny, didn't have good mechanics and didn't seem to have the potential to be a good NFL player. At the time, many evaluators said he wouldn't have a chance to compete in a professional tournament because of his body. Draft day could have been a trauma in Brady's life. He wanted to be part of the San Francisco 49ers team, as he greatly admired Joe Montana and wanted to follow in his idol's footsteps. But the club ended up opting for another player. In total, six quarterbacks were chosen before his selection, being number 199 pick overall. Almost no one looked favorably on Tom, except for the then modest New England Patriots, at the time a small team. Interestingly, the Patriots didn't exactly need a quarterback for that season. However, Bill Belichick's coaching staff preferred to keep four quarterbacks and decided to recruit Tom Brady. In fact, take a look at what Brady told the Patriots owner after being recruited. He looked me in the eye and he said, I'm the best decision your franchise has ever made. Tom made common rookie mistakes, but with confidence that many veterans never had. All he had in mind was that 198 players, including six quarterbacks, had been chosen before him, and he needed to show he was the best. But what did the Patriots representatives see that others didn't? Certainly, it was Tom's relentless pursuit of victory, no matter what happened. His mindset was something that couldn't be measured by numbers, only observed on the field taking advantage of the opportunities that arose. In the beginning of the season, Brady was fourth on the list of quarterbacks behind Drew Bledsoe, John Fritz, and Michael Bishop. 
Tom stood out in training and by the end of the 2000 season he was just behind Bledsoe. Long story short, in his first season Brady hardly saw any playtime. It took a year for his chance to come. He took over as a starter in the middle of the 2001 season after his teammate's injury and never gave back the spot. After that it was a revolution in NFL history and the New England Patriots led by Tom's mastery won 6 Super Bowls in the years 2002, 2004, 2005, 2015, 2017 and 2019. Moreover, Brady was the first to be unanimously elected MVP in addition to breaking records such as most touchdown passes in a season and in the league. But a true hero's journey isn't made of victories alone, right? During a game in the 2008 season, Tom suffered a knee injury. He had to undergo surgery and went through a complex physiotherapy process to recover all the damage caused. That's how he lost the entire season and was the only time since his arrival that the Patriots didn't go to the playoffs. In 2014 another difficult battle had to be faced by the player. He was involved in a scandal after winning the AFC final against the Indianapolis Colts. The problem is that most of the team's 12 balls were underinflated than what the NFL regulations require. Brady declared he never cheated the rules, however because of this incident he was suspended for the first four games of 2015. After 20 years as a New England player, Brady decided to move to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and again silenced the critics who said he was too old and that the team's investment in the veteran wouldn't be worth it. According to the North American press, Tom Brady's salary at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was $30 million per season. Even at 43, living through a difficult season with many ups and downs, he achieved another moment of glory in his life. He became the first player to win a Super Bowl at home. Tampa Bay was the NFL champion in 2020, and it can be said that Tom's winning mentality was a game changer there. His champion spirit inspired the entire team, which had been in a long title drought. Just one year with Tom Brady was enough for them to reach the top of the world. To this day he remains the only NFL player to have 7 rings and it will likely be a record that lasts for many decades. Will it Mahomes? In his love life Tom also hit the jackpot being married to one of the most famous and beautiful models in the world, the Brazilian Giselle Bündchen. The healthy relationship between them is also a positive point that allowed the athlete to have a victorious career, staying away from the controversies and fights. Both are extremely successful in their jobs and together form a very victorious duo. Tom Brady officially retired after the 2022 season, however, he stayed involved in sports. In 2023, the American football legend became a minority shareholder of Birmingham Football Club, a team based in England and will work directly with the club's board. Will we see a new football powerhouse in the coming years? Doubt it. But we cannot doubt that whatever Tom puts his hands turns to gold, right? His story inspires us that regardless of the current circumstances, we can always do our part to build a new future and achieve our dreams. Tom is a hero who was not discouraged by criticism and bounced back, eternalizing his name in history. Did you enjoy this content and are you interested in learning about the behind the scenes lives of incredible people? Then leave your like here and send a suggestion of whom would you like us to tell their story. To receive new episodes please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. That's all for today, so see you soon in the next episode of Hero's Journey.